Come back with me. Where? Back to the future. Where are we? When are we? We're descending toward Hill Valley, California, at 4.29 p.m. on Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. 2015? You mean we're in the future? The future, Marty, what do you mean? How the future is finally here. In Back to the Future 2, Marty and Doc Brown traveled to, well, today, October 21st, 2015, you heard him say it, in order to right the wrongs of their past. The movie made several predictions about what today would look like. And joining us now from New York to talk about those predictions is the film's screenwriter, executive producer, uh, Bob Gale. So great to talk to you on this day. Bob, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Happy Back to the Future Day. <laughs> there you go. How did you and Robert Zemeckis come up with this stuff, come up with some of these predictions? Well, we didn't actually set out to predict the future because we knew that you're always going to predict the future wrong. Uh, that's one thing history has shown us. So we decided we we're going to have fun with the future. We wanted to take some of the most iconic scenes of the first Back to the Future movie and rework them through the prism of what the future might be. So we created the movie theater playing a 3D Holomax movie, which turns out to be just like 3D IMAX. Uh, it's running Jaws 19. Well, thank goodness we don't have that many Jaws sequels, but we do have Sharknado movies. You sure do. So we, we were kind of, we, <laughs> uh, we thought about uh, what the house of the future would look like because we had the dinner table scenes in the McFly house. And we thought that there would be home video conferencing. And we got that one uh, really spot on. The uh, conversation that Michael J. Fox has with uh, his supervisor, Needles, played by Flea, looks just like what you might be doing today. So we, so we got a lot of stuff right. And then, of course, we got a lot of stuff wrong. Uh, we, we predicted flying cars. Uh, we didn't really think we'd have flying cars. That might be a good thing because uh, the number of accidents people still have in two dimensions, maybe it's good that they don't drive in three dimensions. Yeah, I think you're but right about that. But I think the coolest, thing is, the coolest thing is the hoverboard oh, because nobody had yeah. even thought of anything like that before. And, of course, we conceived it as a riff on our skateboard chase from the first movie, and now we've got people out there who are actually inventing them. Absolutely, Bob. Just a couple of months ago, we had an inventor from Quebec who had created a hoverboard. We actually got on it. It was really, really cool. And also the self-tying laces. I saw that Nike was tweeting Michael J. Fox yesterday. So obviously it's up to something, but that's another thing that people have always been talking about. Yeah, Nike, Nike's pretty secretive about what they do. Uh, they haven't told me anything. So uh, it doesn't look like you're gonna be able to buy those shoes today on October 21st, 2015. We'll see what happens. They did say to Michael J. Fox, I think through Twitter, we'll see you tomorrow. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, also want to talk about the Cubs because there was that prediction that the Cubs would make the World Series. And, you know, they're down 3 nothing uh, now in that series um, against the Mets. But still, hey, there's hope. There's still hope. If you're a Cubs fan, that's, that's, what, the, that's what you live on is hope. Uh, exactly. So yeah, let's hope let's hope they pull it off because uh, then people kill, will still be talking about Back to the Future, and I like that. Listen, uh, Jay's fans on this day were hoping too. I'll tell you that much. Um, yeah, I, I understand that. What about automatic pizza? Well, obviously we don't have the pizza hydrators, but what's interesting is that 3D printer technology is being adapted to the kitchen. And there are devices that look an awful lot like our pizza hydrator that can actually make pizza. They're still in the test mode, but we're going to have something like that. Uh, another prediction that we made was that in 2015, people would be nostalgic about the 1980s. We had the scene in the cafe 80s, uh, and that actually that was one we thought we that was one we thought we'd hit because people are always nostalgic about the generation uh, previous. So much fun to talk to you on this Back to the Future Day. Bob, thank you so much. Thank you, Marcy. Pleasure to be here. The Back to the Future 30th Anniversary Trilogy is now available on Blu-ray and DVD. For more information, you can visit our website, canadaam.ctvnews.ca.